Good morning. Today I am going to do a video um, testing these newly newly released Montmart acrylic pouring paints that are pre-mixed. So they may be excellent for people that don't want to try and get the pouring medium uh, correct in, in that you know adding glue or pouring medium separate these are all pre-mixed now there are other companies that do these and I've used lots of them before and wasn't very happy with them um, but these Montmart ones are very very reasonable priced so for somebody that just wants to do a few little canvases or pieces of artwork for themselves and not prolifically they are really um, well they appear to be are really economical but I will reserve my judgment until the end of the video um, to see how it comes out um, and go from there but yeah that's what I'm testing today so I got these from my supplier in um, Victoria Di and Anthony and I've got a link to their website below my um, video in the little uh, arrow that's for the uh, click down box that will have there my what I've used for each particular pour and an explanation about the particular pour I'm doing so I if giving these a really good shake so I'm going to do it just a flip cup pour on this 25 by 20 canvas today I'm going to use their um, turquoise the cadmium cadmium red is it um, black white and I'm going to I have got silver and gold um, I might use the gold and not the silver we'll, we'll see how we go so I'm gonna and I have got some Montmartre silicone in this particular one uh, I mean I still love my Helmar and I will continue to use the Helmar but of course I will give this a try uh, because Montmartre are putting out, and have always put out for years, some excellent products for reasonable cost. And that's if you're um, an avid pourer that loves to get out and just pour lots of canvases, then um, it's, it's the way to go. Montmartre seem to be able to do really good quality acrylic paints for really reasonable costs. So if you're in Australia, yeah, there's like my... The, people I get my paints from I've put a link to but these retail I think for around $7.95 for the bottle um, which is I think half of less than half of what other companies are putting them out for prices of pre-made paints so it will be very interesting to see how these um, new paints work because yeah um, Montmartre have only recently released these so very excited and this gold is yeah gold I mean it looks really really sheeny shiny so that'll be interesting so what I'm going to do I have shook them up so I'm, I'm guessing that I'll get a lot of bubbles because um, like as you all know I make up my paints the night before and let them sit but for the sake of this I'm going to just pour them straight from the bottle as they suggest and they are obviously a lot runnier than I would do my normal mix but um, I've used like other pre-made pouring paints and they were very very runny and for whatever reason it's leading me to put the silver in which I wasn't going to use next so as you see I'm just opening them and you're you're doing this new um, exploring with me yeah so as I said uh, normally they come very very runny pre mixed paints and that's what I didn't like about them but these seem to have a little bit more body than what I've previously had but remember there's I'm not added any silicon or anything to this this is straight out the bottle so I'm doing this test with you and for you so I am just pouring it down the side of my cup I don't want to pour it straight into it and because I love turquoise and red together I'm going to 
I suppose I should have done that before I started, but I didn't realise they got that little thing on. Anyway, it's all good. So that's my turquoise. I might see they have got a little squirt thing that you squirt it in, but I prefer in it to open the whole thing up and like I like to do because I do get lots of oh how do you get your paints they don't go to mud and they always look so crisp well I think this is a little bit of a trick to it in that you pour them down the sides and so don't give them the advantage so much to muddy up okay. Just relay those colours and as I said, oh there you go, my dogs are saying hello to you because they've been quiet all day but knew that I, oh, I've gone a bit crazy with that one. Okay, this should probably be well more than enough. I didn't add any gold to that, did I? I might just put some on top. So, but yeah, so... We'll see how this one turns out. That's interesting. That's sitting nicely on top. That's a bit unusual for um, pre-made paints because they're usually so runny, they're just like pouring water. So I do feel as though they've got a little bit more body to them. Look at those lovely colours together. One thing I love about my Montmartre paints that I've been using, the colours are so bright and vibrant and even when they're dry. So that's a really another reason to use them. Okay, we're going to give this a little flip. Okay, that is really lovely gold. That would be actually nice to even um, run through and highlight some of the other pores that I use with the Montmartre Studio acrylics. Because that's really, really nice. So this will be interesting to see what the Montmartre pre-made pouring medium, uh, pouring paint. It's got everything in it you need apparently. So if you want cells, you to I, I will do the next test for you and add a couple of drops of um, silicon and see what kind of difference it makes to them. I'm not sure how long these paints have actually been out on the market or you can but I know you can if you're in Australia you can get them there's um, a lovely family supplier in Victoria that posts them out to you that you can get them so and they're seven dollars ninety five for those so really really quite reasonable I believe to what the other ones have been I'm just hoping that I haven't put too much black in this particular one, but let's go for it. I might take it up top. Oh, look at that. Those colors. Oh, look at that. There's no silicon in there at all. And look at it selling. Look at the cells. So there I have so many people contact me saying, oh, I've done your recipe and I've put silicon in, I've done this, and I still don't get cells. Well, there you go. Ooh, that's very interesting because there's no silicone in that whatsoever. Look how vibrant that cadmium, cadmium, cadmium. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Cadmium red. Wow, we super duper. I'm just gonna. Yeah, this is completely different texture to the pre-made pouring paints that I've used by other expensive brands like five times the cost of these I have tried that are very very runny and run straight off this has got a little bit of body in it so you can get okay that's interesting I'm not going to do anything at present I'm going to uh, torch that a little bit I think my thing's uneven but anyway Give it a little bit of a torch, see how we go. But not that it really needs it because look at it. Interesting. See, so wouldn't I don't think well I'll do a test if you could use pre-made paints to do a swipe, but it probably would be a bit of a a waste to do that. I'm not gonna torch it anymore. 
but maybe I will add some white around the so I don't have to stretch it too far. There you go, husband starts his car up. <laughs> Sorry about that. Love those colours though, so vibrant. Look at the gold sitting on that black, which I knew it would do, putting them next to each other. It's gorgeous. I'll just use my finger. Could use a brush and be all posh, but I'm not. I'm using my finger. It's definitely got a lot more body in it than previous pre-mades that I've used. Definitely, definitely. It's a reasonable price. The colours are just very nice. Love to actually, yeah, use some of that gold, whether I put it in a syringe to put in some feature in another painting because that gold's so sheeny shiny very nice okay give this a bit of a tilt and see how we go i don't want to lose that lovely red it looks like i'm or the black <laughs> let's try and do it a bit slower take your time Okay, oh. That's really quite pretty. It's really nice. I don't actually want to cover all that white up. I like a bit of the negative space in it. Just wishing I'd put some more of the red in because Look at the red where the the turquoise is. It's very nice. Losing a bit of that lacing through the black, but never mind. It actually gives a really cool effect, I must say. Oh, I'm gonna lose that gold in that black now, but that's the nature of the beast. Okay, give it a bit of a torch and see what we can bring up, if anything. Remember it's got no silicon in it, but there's certainly cells and it looks as though it's developing further as I leave it, so. Oh my goodness, I actually really like that. That is really cool. You see it? Really cool. What I might do with that black, I think it's got some gold under there, is just get my little spatula, just because I want to bring up, to see if they can bring up the gold underneath. Oh, I brought up some red there though. <laughs> Maybe I'll just hit the torch again, see if I can bring it up. don't want to do it too much well I'll leave it to see what you think um, it actually gives a really nice effect like this that red in the turquoise which I could quite have exploited that a bit further by doing some layers of red turquoise red turquoise would have got that lacing which always looks nice the black I've lost a obviously a lot of the gold which you quite often do but I did I don't remember I only put it in on the top so the gold is here it's got so it's got cells within cells it just looks I would definitely use that again and I would definitely advise people that just want something that's pre-made that has got that gets cells and that's not even got the silicon in so it'd be interesting to see the next one I do with the silicon, I'll just give you a close up because that looks tiny. My, oh, I've got so much paint on my iPad. Oh, okay. I like that. 
I like that. See what you think and I'll leave it to develop and then I'll put some photos on at the end of the video to show you what it was like after it dried off and if the cells develop further. Thanks so much for watching. Um, thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Very much appreciate it. Uh, give me a th thumbs up and please leave your comments at what you think of this paint. As I said, I'll put some pictures on it, photos on at the end to show you what uh, it dried like. Okay, next test will be with the silicone.